Welcome to my channel. You are watching K's Most Interesting. Robert the Doll. I just want to take a quick second before we start the story to say that a lot of people have said that the Chucky movies are based off of Robert the Doll, but I'm coming to the conclusion that that is not true. Everybody has their own opinion though, and I'd like to hear your opinion in the comments. In the early 1900s, a young boy named Robert, who went by Jean, received a doll as a gift. Jean also named the doll Robert. Robert the doll was three feet tall and dressed in a sailor's outfit, and he had a small lion as a companion. Jean lived with his family in Key West, Florida. He carried Robert the doll wherever he went and talked to him as if he was real, and even fed him real food at the dinner table, or pretended to feed him real food at the dinner table. Jean's family even mentioned that when Jean would talk to Robert in other rooms, they would hear a response in a deep man voice. They thought at first that Jean was making the second voice, the response voice, but the voice was just too deep to be Jean's voice. The family said that in the middle of the night, Jean would start screaming bloody murder. But when they would go check in his room, his room would be covered and knocked over and thrown furniture. And Robert the doll in the corner staring at Jean. And Jean blamed it all on Robert. The family even claimed to see the doll move around the house many times and claimed to hear giggles coming from the areas he was. Even the neighbors claimed to see the doll moving in the windows. The family decided to lock Robert the doll in the attic and they left him there for years. But that didn't keep people that came over and the family from hearing laughter and footsteps coming from the attic. And eventually, word got out about that. Rumor has it that the family owned a plantation with a lot of servants, and that Jean's mom was cruel to the servants, and that she apparently caught the servants practicing black magic and decided to get rid of them. But one of the servants gave the doll to Jean after using voodoo to possess it with an evil spirit. After Jean's parents died, he inherited the family home and moved in with his wife, Anne. Even though Jean went through a bad past with Robert the doll, he could not help but want to reunite with him. But Anne was scared of Robert and could not be around him. Jean became obsessed with Robert and would put him in a chair in the couple's bedroom while they slept. And when he went upstairs to paint, he never painted without Robert beside him. Once again, the neighbors started claiming that they seen Robert moving throughout the house in the windows. Jean started having uncontrollable mood swings, and his actions were very unpredictable. He even became physically abusive towards his wife, Anne. When he went back to normal, he would blame Robert for the bad episodes, and claimed he couldn't remember what happened. Jean died in 1974, and his wife shortly after. New residents moved into the home, and things started to repeat itself. One member of the new residents' family was a 10-year-old girl who found Robert in the attic, and she became attached to him as well. The young girl began to also start having nightmares and screaming in the night. Shortly after this, Robert was given to a museum and kept in a glass box in the basement. It is said that Robert the doll does not like when people take pictures of him, and if you do, you must ask him permission.
Rumor has it that if you disregard this rule, you will suffer from something fatal. Around Robert's box are apology letters from the numerous people who have knowingly crossed his boundaries and suffered the consequences. Some even leave offerings in hopes of forgiveness. That is the story of Robert the doll. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.